shoot. Hello out there! Today we are taking a look at something very strange. It is a Transformers Beast Wars toy, but this is a Microverse playset. So rather than have transforming figures, the figures are these tiny, tiny little guys here. And the bulk of the toy is actually this spider turns into a playset. You can see there's a whole bunch of other Microverse toys here. They did some G.I. Joe, Goosebumps. Um, there's another Beast Wars playset. Very cool, very strange toy. So here's the toy itself, and Arachnid is very colorful. Beautiful uh, lines on the paint applications. Cannot fault that at all. You can see the texture on the body, really cool. Obviously some neon green on the undercarriage here, but overall pretty cool looking spider. The only articulation you get is on these back legs here, which have a ball joint, ball joint, and that's not even necessarily for spider mode, but they can move. Other than that, there's nothing. You can wiggle the the body a tiny bit side to side, but that's really for transformation. Um, speaking of which, it's first mode. Flip it over, and you want to rotate these wings out like so, and then turn the body around. Down here, pull this little skid down. Then there's these flaps on the side of the body. And that is what they call vehicle mode. So I suppose you'd pretend these are wings and a little cockpit that opens up that you can put a guy in. Treads on the back. There's some nice uh, silver paint there to mark those. Other than that, no added deco other than the brilliant neon green on the top there. But yeah, so that's vehicle mode. And then to fully convert it, we have to open up this abdomen, like so, which reveals a volcano, because of course it does. Um, in here, we've got these little this little thing here that flips out. Um, and if we open this up, we've got all of our accessories. Plus, you can see a little detail for like a sort of a you know base here. Um, on this part here, it has some little laser guns on the front right here that flip out. And then you can turn this around to the side. So it's like a little gun turret. And then, out of this mess of neon green, we have these little, they're called tools in the instructions. Kind of a big clamper, a hook. And basically what you do is on the end of the leg, you can see there's like a peg and you just pop whichever ones you want onto these pegs and then they can be little repair tools. Okay, now, the two figures that it comes with... Okay, these little guys are like impossible to film. They're so small. But this is Razor Beast and hopefully you can make out his sort of ambiguous lumpy detail. The arms are painted differently so they look like they're jointed but the only joint he has is to sit down on his neon legs. And I'm telling you these guys are so tiny. Look at him next to this little stormtrooper figure from the Micro Machines line currently on shelves. Just minuscule. So this is Razor Beast because of course he's the kind of high profile character that you had to include in your experimental toy line. And then this is Megatron.
And again, he only has a waist joint. And these little figures can fit in a number of ways on here. Whoops, I forgot a step. This pops up and turns around in an homage to the old Optimus Prime trailer. You can pop that open. You can put your guy in there. Snap that close, and he is ready for battle. The other thing you can do is it has these two little insect car vehicles. Just one piece of neon green plastic. They are different. As you can see, this one's more of a fly or honestly it looks kind of like a bull weevil. But they can sit. Oops, here, so you can see it. They can sit right in there and fly around and battle each other or park inside the, the base. And then as far as the headquarters goes, show you some internal details here. And there's like a, kind of looks like a robot fireplace really is what it reminds me of, but it does have a sticker showing a little computer readout details there and then almost exactly the same thing on the other side stickered thing uh, gauges I guess you call them and then it does have a rub symbol which if you rub it enough will be a Predacon um, but yeah I'm sure you know how that works it's also a little seat right here they can sit on if you would like like so and that is the Arachnid Beast Wars toy from Kenner. And what a unique oddity this thing is. I never knew these existed. I've never heard anybody talking about them. And now that I have one, i got to go out and get that wacky Orca, which looks even crazier than this thing, but is much more expensive. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this look at a oddity from uh, the mid to late 90s. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Take care until next time.